Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. You know, there are certain events in history that just leave a, a, a long impression in your mind, something that you're never going to forget when it happened and where you were. Uh, the generation before me was when President Kennedy got shot, uh, our generation perhaps when Wayne Gretzky got traded, and even more so the, the tragic news of 9-11. And as far as Flames history goes today, uh, as the announcement of Jerome Aginla being traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins, perhaps the biggest news this franchise has ever faced, other than them winning the Stanley Cup. But their longtime face of the franchise has gone. He's moved on, and Pittsburgh really hit a home run with this one. I'm looking at the situation here with Calgary and how emotional the city is about the poster boy for this franchise. I mean, this is the guy that they embraced and held close to their heart. Grown men have called crying. People are upset. I was like most of you last night. I sat up and watched TSN. I was quite confused when I went to bed and my son phoned me and he said, Jerome McGinley got traded to Pittsburgh and I thought he was pulling my leg, but there it was. Aaron Ward, who played with the Boston Bruins, went on TSN and said he was told by several sources, players that played with the Boston Bruins, that the deal was done. Obviously, the Bruins are upset at this. Peter Shirelli is not impressed with the way Jerome Aginla handled it, but it was his decision in the long run. But we were led to believe that deal was going to be finalized. And folks, I really truly believe the deal with Boston would have been better for the Calgary Flames than the deal with Pittsburgh. Now, this is the thing about no trade clauses. You let the inmates run the asylum. You can't have that in hockey. You've got to be able to trade these assets or you paint yourself into the corner. Really, think about it. Two collegiate draft choices that really might not stick in the NHL and perhaps the 30th pick overall really isn't a significant trade for the Calgary Flames getting Jerome McGinley. But again, with this no trade clause, they really were painted into a corner and they wanted to work out the best possible deal for Jerome McGinley. But the thing is here, when there was three teams, and that's what Jay Feaster said, when there was three teams that put offers in and they should have said, okay, Jerome, we're going to find the best deal possible. You name the three cities you will go to, we'll find the best deal for us, and that's what we're going to have to live with. That's fair. At the last minute, he changed his mind and he decided to go to Pittsburgh. And the Flames are a weaker team because of it. The bottom line was Jerome Ginla's choice. He decided he wanted to go try and win a Stanley Cup with his good buddy, Sidney Crosby and Malkin. Two of the best players in the world, he says. Now with them, uh, they have an excellent chance. In fact, I'm saying, well, why play? Why <laughs> just give the Stanley Cup to these guys? Ray Shiro's done an excellent job. But this is a rental, folks. Remember, with the salary cap sh being a, a lesson next year, there's a lot of players that won't be signed in other teams such as the Pittsburgh Penguins. They stocked heavy to make a heavy run at the Stanley Cup with Jerome Aginla. Remember, he's a UFA at the end of this season, so he could be playing elsewhere. And he says he wants to play for another five years. And really, you can't doubt the guy. He's one of the most physically fit, well-conditioned athletes, even at the age that he's at. He's more fit than anybody else on the Flames team. And really, why would you argue with this guy? He's an Iron Man. He's never hurt. He plays at a high level. He scored 30 goals or more 11 straight years. Wasn't going to hit that this year in the shortened strike. So anyhow, Jerome McGinley doesn't know this city anything. You have to be happy for the guy. The man with the megawatt smile is now on his way to try and earn his first Stanley Cup. He's done everything else in the game of hockey. When you look back at this, you have to wonder... The Calgary Flames never handled the Jerome Aginla situation the right way. Sure, they made a run in 2004. They were one bad call away from winning the Stanley Cup here, which was his ultimate dream, of course. But they never really truly had a gifted centerman to play alongside their centerpiece. This is their franchise player, and they struggled for years. A, a world-class athlete that played on so many crappy teams that we really, truly never saw his true potential. Will he be able to get that at the age of 35 on? It remains to be seen. But if there's an exception to the rule, it could be Iggy. Now, a lot of people say he hasn't got the same hands or his foot speed isn't the same and he's not competing and he's not engaging like he used to. Well, come on, would you? I mean, seriously, 
sooner or later playing with a team like this that's not going to make the playoffs for four straight years, it's going to wear on you. Jerome again is no exception. Now he's going to be revitalized. He goes to the East. He doesn't have to deal with Calgary. He doesn't have to compete against them. He will play on a Pittsburgh Penguins team that, as we speak, have won 13 straight games and have added some great pieces like Jerome again, Morrow, and Murray from San Jose. This is a tough team, folks. It's not everything's going to go through Pittsburgh. The Stanley Cup's going to th go through Pittsburgh. So unless there's a malfunction at the junction, as Ed Willen would say, gear up for Jerome again, a sipping champagne. If there's anything that reminds you so much of Calgary, it's Jerome again. And Iggy, all we can do is wish you the best. You're one of the classiest athletes that we have ever had the pleasure of covering, and it's one of, you're one of the classiest athletes we've ever got to know. It's kind of ironic, two of the classiest and friendliest and nicest guys I've ever covered in the world of sports, Jerome Ginla and Henry Burris, were both gone from this city in about a year's time. Hard to believe that, but it's true. Two of the classiest guys gone. Jerome Ginla, we wish you the best, and in your case, I hope you find the dream of winning a Stanley Cup. Ha, 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 ha.